Hi, my name's Kieran. I'm a trainer here at One Stop Training. Today we're going to uh, talk about conducting a pre-start and a post-start safety inspection of an electric forklift. Okay, one of the first things I like to identify when I'm looking at a forklift is the operator's manual. Uh, usually located in the hard cover at the back of the operator's seat. Uh, once you've located that, okay, uh, inside it you'll find information about uh, what you need to complete on your daily pre-start checklist as per the manufacturer's specification. Uh, it will also give you other information about periodic maintenance, uh, location where to check various fluid levels throughout the, the forklift, which we'll show you as we go along with the video. Um, another thing that is kept in the back there too is a pre-operational um, checklist there for the operator as well. Just keep that back in there. Um, one of the next things I like to then identify is the compliance plate. It's got some key information on it for um, you to operate your, your forklift safety and um, we'll have a closer look at that now. Let's have a closer look at our compliance plate here. We can get the, the make, the model, serial number, it does list that it has a side shift attachment, uh, tells us it's a battery type being an electric forklift. Um, also that the vehicle can lift 1160 kilograms there. Uh, that reduces down to 860 kg when we tilt the, the mass forward. Uh, we have load centre of 600 millimetre and we can lift that 1160 kilo up to a height of uh, 5035 millimetre and allowing another 600 millimetre on top for the actual load as per the diagram here. Talks about the tear weight of the forklift truck uh, without the battery gives us a battery specification. Um, maximum battery weight of 726 kilo. You'll see later on it's quite a, a large battery pack. Um, and then it talks about being a 20 volt, 24 volt system, sorry. Um, and the year is 2014 that it was manufactured. All right, we're gonna check our, our times and our load backrest as part of our pre-start inspection. Uh, I check the tips if there's no damage or burring uh, on the very end there. We also check the heel of the forklift blade to make sure that there's no cracking or stress fractures. Uh, also check the securing pins if they're locked in place to hold the, the tines in the groove. And also check the security of your load backrest there. Uh, checking that the bolts are secure in place and that there's no cracking or damage, etc. to that area. Next we're going to talk about inspecting our master assembly on the forklift here. Um, checked in at the lower level, we've got our side shift ram. We want to make sure that there's no hydraulic leaks uh, and any of the hoses down here. A quick look under the front of the, the forklift as well for any further leaks. Uh, we want to check our lifting chains, our main lift ram uh, for any further leaks, any twisting in the chains. Uh, we also want to look at our roller bearings up here on the mast on both sides to make sure that they haven't been damaged uh, and that we're well lubricated as well. Around the back here, off to the side, we've got our tilt cylinders that you want to check on both sides. Again, you want to make sure that none of the oil seals are, are leaking, etc. Next, we're going to have a look at um, tyres that may be fitted to various forklifts. Uh, these are solids, um, a non-marking tyre, for indoors, others may be just black rubber with pneumatic, you've got to check the tyre pressures on them. A um, couple of key things as well, we want to look at the, the tread depth, we don't want any canvas showing through if they're a, an inflatable tyre, but these are being a solid. We want to check any damage to the sidewall, that we've got no chunks, cuts or foreign objects embedded into it. And we also want to check and inspect our wheel nuts and our studs. Uh, indicator would be even thread to show that it's been torqued onto the wheel correctly. Next I'd like to talk to you about our three points of uh, protection for safety on a forklift. We briefly mentioned the load backrest. Um, this helps steady and secure the load on the pallet and also prevents any fouling or objects falling through into the mast area there as well. Um, a second one is your overhead guard to prevent any falling objects coming down out of a racking, hitting you on the head. This one looks like it's structurally and in good 
good condition, no damage. And our third point is our footrest or our foot guard area that prevents any objects falling down here, uh, protecting your legs and your feet. Okay, another thing I'd like to highlight, uh, you'll find throughout your forklift uh, various safety warning stickers or decals. So here we've got one that uh, points out about riding on the forklift load or not being under a, a suspended load. It's labelled where to check certain oil levels. And another one over here about what to do in the event that the forklift does tip over sideways. We've got another sticker here for your rated capacity in your load chart as your load centre moves out. And on the back of the forklift, uh, another one here about lifting the forklift with a crane, etc. One of the mounting points. Next I'll show you how to gain access uh, to the underbonnet to perform the various inspections we need to carry out there. Uh, firstly I'll release the, the bonnet catch. Uh, coming around to the other side of the forklift, we need to release the uh, joystick controls and push that forward. And then you'll see that we've got a, a hand release here. We just pull the engine cover up there. Uh, to reveal the battery and all the other components. Being an electric forklift, battery maintenance is critical. A couple of key things that we need to check and inspect are our terminals, that they're secure and tight, no corrosion. Uh, also on the caps of the battery, there's a little float indicator that indicate the water level, um, whether they're high or low. If we need to top up our water level, uh, there's this fitting connected a little cap on the end of it. We also have this filler attachment, a bit like an airline. You pull it down, clip it in like that, and then we connect this fitting to a garden hose and then you can slowly fill it with water and get the flight levels back to the correct height. While we're still here on this side of the forklift, we just unlock this panel and open the door up. And I'm gonna show you where we connect our battery recharging station at the end of the day. Large Anderson plug here, that we disconnect from the, the motor and then we'll connect the fitting into there. We'll show you that later on in the video. Continuing on with our fluid level inspections of our forklift here, um, we've located on the dash panel here the cover for the brake fluid. I'll just lift that up um, to inspect it, unscrew the cap and check the level inside there, that looks pretty good. Uh, then we're gonna move on to doing the underfloor inspections, uh, checking our transmission fluid there next. I'll remove the floor covering and we'll demonstrate what we're checking. As you can see, I've removed the floor mat and an inspection floor plate to gain access to the hydraulic dipstick located inside the forklift, I'll just undo that and you can pull the dipstick out and check the oil level against the high and the low marks on that. That looks good, nice and clean. Pop that down. Have a quick inspection here around the hydraulic fittings for any further oil leaks that may occur. And that all looks really good. I'll now reassemble the floor and the floor mat and we'll move on with our pre-start inspection. Next, I'm gonna talk about inspecting our, our seat and various components there. Uh, one of our key safety features is our seatbelt. We want to check that we've got no damage to the webbing. Uh, we also want to check that our seatbelt locks and stays in. It seems to be working fine. Put that back. We've also got several adjustments on our seat uh, for back support, tilt, etc. We do have a, a wind up knob here to adjust the seat suspension according to the weight of the the operator, uh, another lever here to move our seat uh, forward and backwards. We want to check the general condition of our seat, that it is in safe working order. Um, I'll now demonstrate how to correctly mount the forklift using three points of contact. One, two, three. Okay, you can step up into the forklift, swing our hips in and sit down on the fork. At this point here, then you will pull your seat belt out and attach it and we're ready to operate. All right, now we're ready to start our forklift. I'll turn the, the key on and let the computer go through its check, see if any faults come up, giving us about half battery charge. 
Uh, next, we're going to check that our lights are, are functioning. I can see that, checking with my hand. Uh, indicators here on the left. Indicator there on the right. Flashing light on the rear. Indicators and lights work on there. I'll just check that side. Yep, so I've got all my lights going. I want to check that our horn's working. Uh, that's one of our safety. Uh, devices. Also the seat I'm, I mentioned has got a pressure switch underneath it, uh, so if you're off the seat you won't be able to operate any of the controls. Um, it's a safety either lock, etc. The next part of our inspection, um, we're going to check the full range of movements of our mast and fork uh, assembly there and go through the various control levers and functions that we've got here. I'll get you to come in and have a closer look and we'll zoom in and see which what lever does what. Okay, this electric forklift is fitted with three levers. The one closest to my leg is your hoist up and down. So I'll just slowly demonstrate that there. Pull it back to go up. Push it forward to hoist down. And next lever is our tilt lever. So if I pull that lever back, you'll see that it tilts our forklift backwards. And forward on the mast. Okay, and I'll just bring that back to level. Our third lever here is for side shift, so you'll see that the carriage will move to the right and move it to the left, and I'll bring it back to centre. Always centre your load before you travel with your forklift for better stability. Okay, next we're going to check our full range of movement of our mast and our forks, and I'll demonstrate that now for you. Firstly, we'll Next lever, I'll check your uh, shot forward and a tilt back function. Back to vertical. And we'll uh, side shift off to our right, side shift to our left, and then back to center again. Okay, so that's your, your check on your mask. Okay, now I'm going to check your drivability of the forklift. I've released the handbrake. We'll engage forward gear. We travel with our fork and blades at approximately axle height off the floor, so we'll make a move. Check the new steering. Okay, checking the brake. We'll go into reverse and check for the reverse lever alarm. We can hear that going. Let's have a look behind. Okay, and as we park our forklift, tilt your mast forward, lower your blades down to the ground, park brake on, inch in neutral, and then we'll turn the key off and we can shut the machine down. Um, I'll demonstrate the correct way to dismount the forklift. Three points of contact here as you step out and step away to the side. Okay, so now we've completed our pre start and our post start inspection procedure. If you find anything that's not quite right with the machine, needs attention, um, it's not safe, place an out of service tag on it, don't operate the machine, remove the key, that way you isolate it. Um, get it recorded and report it to your person in charge. Could be a supervisor and they can get the required maintenance done on the forklift. Okay, now that we're happy with the condition of our forklift, um, we find it in a safe condition to use, we'll now conduct our activities, whether it be warehouse, loading, unloading trucks for the day. Uh, and then I'll bring you back into the warehouse and we'll show you how to shut down and secure your machine at the end of your shift. Let's talk about parking and securing our forklift. We've completed our operations for the day. Um, 
I've placed the forklift in the designated parking area adjacent to the recharging station for our electric forklift. Um, I've parked it with the blades tilted and lowered to the ground. In neutral, handbrake on, we'll remove the key. Um, that's one of the things we need to do to, to secure our forklift and lock that away. All right, so I'm going to show you how to uh, connect the battery charger unit. So we need to open our uh, cabinets. I'll quickly do that for you. We'll open this door. Okay. Disconnect the uh, Anderson plug. Here's your charger unit. All right, and we're now connected. Check that the lights are on and we're all ready to roll. Um, also too, just have a quick walk around your forklift that we don't have anything else leaking, damaged during the operation of the day. Again, you would notify someone to get repairs carried out on that. Okay guys, that wraps up our pre-start and post-start inspection of our forklift. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video taken something out of it, learned a few things there. Uh, can't wait to see you come on down to One Stop and do one of our forklift courses. I'm Kieran, thank you very much.